So imagine you wake up every single day to find more of your home is swamped with water. We've shown you how bad the flooding has gotten in the Jefferson Chalmers neighborhood and frustration is rising along with the water. Larry Spruill is live with an update on the struggles there. Larry, that is just a mess that seems to be getting worse. Uh, good evening, Steve and Devin. A huge mess. Now, neighbors here tell me they are running out of options. That's because the canal would not stop flooding. Take a look. As you can see behind me, the water is just flowing down this driveway. Now, neighbors here tell me that they are frustrated. The city says they are trying to do something about it, but someone else will have to pay the bill. It's all about surviving and protecting for these neighbors in this Jefferson Chalmers neighborhood. Their homes sit right next to the canal. Yeah, so we put down about 600 sandbags that we picked up and um, it did stop some of the water. But not all of it, says Michael Seeger. Water continues to swallow the canal. This is a view from Drone 4 up above of the flooding in this neighborhood. It's not stopping. The only real way to fix this is replace seawalls. And that frustration continues to grow. Recently, the city passed out this notice of emergency order saying they were going to fix the issue, but with stipulations. It says that the property owners are responsible for paying any costs involved with whatever they do. And you don't even have a choice in that. I don't see how the city can be blaming the residents and, you know, people that live over here for this issue when, you know, we can't control this. And again, this has been going on for weeks now. The city says they are planning to fix this. I did reach out to the city about the letters that th these neighbors have been receiving. They tell me that they were supposed to send us a statement, but as of right now, we have not heard back. We are live in Jefferson Traumas tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Such a mess for those folks. Thank you, Larry.